my younglings. Do we have to go to the school? That is an interesting question from Steve, who asks me if he really has to go to school. So, what do you think? Does he? What? Well, younglings, I cannot answer that question without telling you how school and training work in nature. In the world of nature, skill means survival. Yes, you heard right. My dear nature can sometimes be quite cruel, so it is very important to prepare for life without parents who watch over us. And we cannot learn a skill without learning. That's it, learning. Today we will explore how younglings spend their days learning and playing, all in preparation for life. And the younglings, that's you, children. Please don't mind me calling you that. Our story begins with one of my neighbors, a mother tit, Bird Mary, and her chicks. Although no bird is born able to fly, the flight instinct is strong from birth. Do you know what instinct is? Oh, an unknown word. Here's an example. Even when they are young, chicks begin to flap their wings and nobody told them what to do, they were simply born for it. Just like you, dear children, nobody told you that you must walk and run, but you want to. It's the instinct to move. Because of that instinct, when their feathers for flight develop, chicks are ready to leave the nest. With a lot of encouragement from their mother Mary, the tit. The first time birds leave the nest, their attempts at flying are clumsy and usually not very good. Mother Mary can gently push those young ones who are reluctant to leave the nest. Under her or father's eye, the clumsy attempts at flying become more precise. Birds learn the skill of flying in stages, from the first falls from the nest to realizing that landing won't be so hard if they spread their wings to slow the fall until they learn to flap their wings to move further and enable flight. And when they master flying, they learn to take off and land. When birds grow up, they become true masters of flight, capable of taking off, landing, hovering, and making sharp turns. The days of falling and flapping their wings are long forgotten, especially that moment when they first stood on the edge of the nest. See, it's similar to your school, isn't it? And listen to what I heard from Grandmother Tusca, an old and proud lioness. Just like you, lions learn a lot while they are young, and play is their most important school lesson. Young lions or cubs start walking at two weeks of age and can run when they are a month old. Although it may seem like they are just having fun, every move they make has a purpose. And what do you think how? Well, they play by following each other, for example, playing hide and seek. What does that remind you of what adult lions do? Yes, when they go hunting, they must learn to hide and stalk. Cubs play and wrestle, all to develop the basic skills needed for later life when they will have to hunt on their own, or fight with other lions, or other animals. When they are only six weeks old, cubs already begin to learn about real hunting. They carefully watch their mothers and other lionesses in the pride. And why mothers? What do you think? Yes, who said that? That's right. Well done. In the lion world, Mothers are the main hunters. Fathers help too. So while the cubs watch the older members of the pride until they reach 16 months of age, play helps them learn everything they need to one day become real hunters. Wait, wait, now I realize something. They start walking at two weeks, run at four, go to hunting school at six. Those weeks are like your human years. There, that's their school, play. But that play is not just fun. It's serious training. While the cubs play, they practice hiding, stalking, speed and strength. All the skills they will need in the wild. And all this time, they remain under the watchful eye of their mothers, who protect and teach them. It's like your parents and teachers watch over you. Cubs will stay with their mothers for about two years. Then they will join the pride's hunt. Through play, mistakes and learning, they will become powerful hunters, ready to take their place in the wild. So you see, your school is not much different from nature. I would say you benefit a lot from your school and kindergarten, including various trainings, clubs, creative workshops, and language learning, because they prepare you for life, 
like young lions and birds, and I like that it's a big game for you because you are still children. The only difference is no other animal will eat you if you make a mistake. The worst thing that can happen is that you get a lower grade, but then you have a chance to improve. Hmm. You humans have set it up well. Maybe I could learn something from you. Thank you for listening. I hope now you know the answer to Steve's question. And feel free to write to me if you're interested in something. If I know, I will answer. If I don't know, we will explore together. Yours truly, Troll Mitros. Naturally. <laughs>